So, you want to retire early and sit on the beach with a cocktail and never have to worry about money ever, ever, ever again? Yeah, me too. I'll cheers to that. Welcome back to my channel, my name is Ewan and on this channel we talk about personal finance, investing and what makes successful people tick. Today's video we will be talking about a dividend investment strategy using Trading212 and the buzzword of the century, passive income. I will also jump into the Trading212 app to show you what dividends I've been receiving and to prove to you that it does actually work, although it's not very much. It does work but make sure you stick around to the end as was a little surprise for all of you newbies that are here and everyone who is already subscribed so make sure you're there before we get into the strategy that's going to allow us to retire early none of what i'm about to say is financial advice i'm not a financial planner i'm just a random dude in a tie-dye t-shirt on the internet talking about finance so make sure you do your own research before investing your Capital. So the strategy that I plan to follow is where I will buy shares in companies or funds that will pay dividends back into my account and that will create the sweet, sweet, sweet passive income that everyone so dearly wants. And hopefully I'll get to a point where my dividend income replaces my normal income and covers the cost of my living. So I can purely live off my investments and retire early. I think this is a dream for most people and if it's not then maybe I can inspire someone to make it their dream and give them the knowledge that they need to achieve it. So it's not all going to be plain sailing, it's not going to be a get rich quick strategy but if you're in it for the long haul you can definitely use this strategy and achieve your dream. So I'll quickly explain what a dividend is just for anyone who doesn't know. A dividend is basically a portion of a company's earnings slash profits that they pay out to their shareholders. So the more shares that you own of a company, the more dividends you will be paid. So not all companies pay dividends, but the ones that do, this applies to. Each company who pays dividends will pay out a different proportion of their earnings slash profits. And this is known as dividend yield. Let's just jump into the Trading21 app on here and you can see what I'm going to be talking through. So um, we'll start with Apple because that is the dividend that I received in my last video. So 59 pence, which is not a lot, but it's a start. So we will go down. You can see that I own 1.038 shares, hence why I didn't get very many. <laughs> I didn't get a big dividend payout. So we come down to key ratios. This is where you can see the dividend yield that I was talking about a moment ago. So the dividend yield for Apple is 1.02%. Because Apple are a large company and they are still growing, their, their dividend yield is fairly low because they are probably investing a lot more money into reinvesting into their products, so like the iPhone. So that's why it's fairly low. And since my last video, I've actually received another dividend. So let's go search for that. So as you can see, £4.15, which is quite good. So if you go down, down here, you, you can see that I own 25.3 shares in Wells Fargo. And if you go down to key ratios, you can see the dividend yield is 6.75%. And it has decreased a little bit because the share price has gone up. So that's the only thing with dividend yield. You have to remember that if the share price goes up, the dividend yield will go down. If the share price drops, then the dividend yield will go up. So recently we've seen very high dividend yields because the sh a lot of shares have dropped in price. Um, but now the market is rallying a little bit and it's shooting up. So um, I think when I, when I did the script for this video, it was actually at 7.08% dividend yield and it's now at 675 so that has changed quite a lot. So yeah, that's just one thing to note, notice. You don't need to pay too much attention to the dividend yield because it does change. So although this is proof that it does actually work, there is a long way for me to go to reach the goal of retirement. As you may have seen in my last video, my dividend total for the year is 250 pounds, but there is still a long way to go. And hopefully you'll be on this journey with me. Let's just look in the app at what needs to be looked at and researched before investing in a dividend stock or dividend ETF. 
So we'll, take, we'll go to Coca-Cola because that is a business that hopefully everyone can understand and yeah, I like it. So we'll go with that. And you're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. <laughs> Sorry. So we talked a bit about dividend yield. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about the next thing when you're looking to invest in a dividend paying stock. So if we go into all ratios and we go across to financial strength and we go down a little bit, we can see out, we can see the payout ratio. So this is basically how often the company pays out in the last 12 months or in the last physical year. So for most companies, a high payout ratio is above 80%. Anything between around 40% to 80% is considered good above 80% is really, really good, and below 40% is a bit questionable. So that's sort of where we are at. So in terms of Coca-Cola, we've got payout ratio for the last 12 months, or TTM, the trailing 12 months, equals 68.84%. That's a very good payout ratio, so I think it's definitely good stock to be investing in, and this is why I have done so. So we've looked at dividend yield, and we looked at payout ratio. So those are the two main things you want to focus on. But before investing in any company, you want to ask yourself these three questions. So is this company a great company? So Warren Buffett always says that you need to be investing in a great company that does the best in its field, the best in its market, and has the best products and the best overall. Because why do you want to invest in anything less? The second question that you should be asking yourself is, do I understand the business? And do I understand why people buy their product? So for example, Coca-Cola, why do people buy Coca-Cola? Well, it's simple. People like drinking Coca-Cola and it's, it tastes lovely and that's it really, that's it. So the third question you need to ask before investing is, is the price that I'm gonna pay for this stock at a good value? So this is a bit more difficult to understand for the beginner because you don't know how to value a stock correctly. But if you, if you learn how to value stock, then this is quite easy. You just basically only buy when it is at great value and is undervalued and on sale effectively. So let's move on a little bit. Let's say that we're going to aim for a yearly dividend income of 20,000 pounds a year. So how many shares will we need? How many funds will we need? How much money is it gonna cost? and how long is this all gonna take? But first, we're all friends here, so make sure that you click that big red button and that thumbs up so that we can move from the stranger zone to the friendly zone, my favorite place. So let's play around with my current investment and let's see how long it's gonna take for me to get there. As I said earlier, I currently have a dividend income of 250 pounds a year. So there's a long way to go and I've only invested £8,953.40. So in that respect, if we want to get to 20000 a year, then I'm going to be after investing around 100 times what I've currently invested, which is a mountain of cash. But this is not the only way and this doesn't take into account reinvesting my dividends. This is just purely a number off my head because I'm around 200 to 250 pound a month. So times that by 100 and then we've got what we want. That ignores a lot of other factors. So hopefully that hasn't put you off because these other factors will help and will speed up the process and we will be financially free and ready to retire early. So this is not the only way. As I said earlier, every company pays out a different dividend yield. If you can find the combination of great companies slash ETFs that pay out a higher dividend yield than the ones I've invested to, into, then you can reinvest these dividends that you receive and multiply and compound your earnings to make this dream a possibility even faster. You might be thinking, Ewan, you've got eight grand to start investing. You've invested eight grand and you've only got 200 pounds. Why should I even, why should I even start? It's not gonna be worth it. I've only got 30 pounds to invest, and should I even bother? The answer is yes. And it doesn't matter how much you start with, it could be 33 pence, it could be five pounds, 
it could be 500,000 pounds. It does not matter, you just need to start. I'm gonna quote one of my favorite quotes from Zig Ziglar. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. I think that applies here. All you have to do is start. So just start. I promise you that if you start investing 30 pounds a month, you will get addicted and you will realize that this is the way forward. You will see that this 30 pounds is making you this much money. And if you invest another 30 pounds, it'll make you this much money over time. If you haven't looked at a compound interest calculator, go check one out. I'll put a link in the description below because it will, it will blow your mind. And that 30 pounds that you started investing with will turn into 300 pounds every month because you'll be like, I should be investing 300 pounds a month, not 30. And it will just multiply from there the exponential growth will be insane. And the compounding effect of you reinvesting those dividends that you receive will be the secret to the massive wealth growth that you want. But the trick is to be disciplined. Disciplined every month to invest that amount that you've decided to invest. It involves consistency, it involves discipline to make sure that you don't spend that money and that you invest it into your future. Over 40 years, over 30 years, even over 20 years, it's gonna make a lot more difference you investing now than not. The trick is to be disciplined and get going. I can be your accountability partner and I can be your personal finance trainer. So I'll box and I will make sure that you invest. So let me know in the comments how much you have invested this month or how much you plan on investing next month into your future and into the dream life that you want. It is difficult to know how long it will take you to get to the point where you could retire early because I don't have all the information, but the main thing is that if you start investing and start saving more money so that you can invest it, that's what I want to convince people to start doing is saving their money and investing it. So we can talk about me because I have the info that I need and what I'm planning on doing to reach my goal. So 20,000 pound dividend income will take me 27 years. So that will be me investing what I've already invested and investing 150 pounds a month from here on out, which is not very much when you think about it. If you only invest 150 pound a month and you retired in 27 years, so that I'll be 51. That's not bad. And if I made it 300 pounds a month, I'll be retired by 47. And if I doubled it again, I made it 600 pounds a month, I'll be retired at age 44. I think this just shows the importance of investing and reinvesting those dividends until you reach your goal. And I don't want you to lose hope because I know that's a long time, but I told you at the start, this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is a long-term plan that will hopefully mean that you can retire earlier than 65 because that is when most people retire. I want you to be thinking of ways where you can free up some cash and start this journey. To conclude, retiring early is not a walk in the park and it's gonna take a lot of determination and diligence and motivation to do it, but let's do it. To conclude, retiring early is no walk in the park, but if you're sensible and proactive with your money and you look for the places that are gonna make you this money and I will be there at the Millionaires Beach Club and I will get the first round in. I promise you that. So I will see you there. Now for the surprise. So first, I just wanna thank everyone who has subscribed recently. It really means a lot and I'm glad that people are liking these videos. Also, I wanna say thank you to the people that have clicked the Trading212 link in the description because that means that I've received a bunch of free shares. So if you want a free share as well, then please go click on that link and you can receive a free share. But get on it quick because there's only nine spaces left. But the other 11 people that have done it have given me an idea. And that idea is that the 150 pounds that is currently in there from those 11 people should be pumped back in and reinvested into you guys. When I reach 1,000 subscribers, then I will give away 
this money and it will be one of yours to start investing and get on this journey of financial freedom and retiring early. I know I'm only on 318 subscribers at the moment, it might have changed by the time that you're watching this, but I'm hoping that if we can get to a thousand fairly soon, then I can pay out this money. And if the other people decide to use the link and I get more free shares, then that value goes up. So there is an incentive for you to use that link and get people to subscribe to my channel because once I get to a thousand subscribers, then I'll be giving that pot away. I know it's a fairly long way away, but if you would be so kind enough to share this with one or two people, then it will hopefully speed up that and you'll be in the chance of winning. So when I reach the 1,000 subscriber mark, I will make a video and I will post on my Instagram for what you need to do. So if you're not following me, go and follow me over there. I'll put the link, I'll put my name up there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub, press that like button and comment your investment plan down below. And all that is left to say is, I'm not a millionaire, but I'm trying to help you become one. So see you in the next one.